precautionary measures. Ultrasonic non-destructive inspection. The purpose of this ultrasonic tool is to be able to detect any possible crack in the welded area of the wheel. This non-destructive inspection method allows one to perform a complete and reliable inspection in less than two hours with limited mechanical intervention. The ultrasonic tool consists of an ultrasonic endoscopic probe and a video endoscope with their respective guides as well as an ultrasonic device to read the ultrasonic signal. The first step is to dismantle two pieces of the MGB allowing access for the tools. Both guides are then fed into the MGB enabling better access to the inspection area. The video endoscope is then put in place in the guide to supervise the introduction of the ultrasonic endoscopic probe on the other side of the wheel. In other words, the first tool ensures the correct positioning of the second. The ultrasonic parameters are adjusted before the start of the inspection. The US inspection involves watching the evolution of the ultrasonic signal by rotating the wheel to be inspected to cover the integrality of the area via the rear rotor. This technique is similar to the medical echography used in this industry. This inspection is performed by a certified inspector who is specially trained to operate this tool. The US method is a standard method recognized in many industries, for example, medicine. Eddy Current and US NDI are two different non-destructive methods that allow the complete inspection of the wheel. However, the US NDI limits the intervention time of the operator to less than two hours. MOD 45 – In-Flight Permanent Monitoring of Shaft Condition The Health Usage Monitoring System, so-called HUMS, H-U-M-S, is a system monitoring data in the aircraft based on vibration analysis. Once a crack has initiated and propagates around the circumference of the shaft, the vibration level of the shaft changes. During both ditchings, the HUMS data retrieved from the aircraft showed a raising trend of the MOD45 vibration data before the rupture incident. This has equally been proven during the test campaigns performed by Eurocopter. The onboard HUMS will be modified to monitor shaft vibration levels in real time and inform the pilot of the condition of the shaft. If an alarm is displayed during flight, the aircraft will continue to safely operate for a sufficient time to allow the pilot to return to base or perform a normal landing. There will be no need to land immediately. 